At their most fundamental, hiking shoes really just protect us from the trail. And there's one shoe that does this better than many other hiking shoes that I've ever worn. Ow! Oh! The Adidas Terex Swift R3 is made of steel, but I think that it has one weakness. Now, I'm gonna shoot this entire video and then test this theory at the end of the video, and we'll find out whether this weakness really is a thing and my theory is correct or not. The Adidas Terex Swift R3 is not the most comfortable shoe, that I've ever worn, but it's not horrible. I mean, yeah, I could sleep right here, okay? I could sleep here all night. It's not comfortable, but you can get through the hike. You can get through the night sleeping like this. This is not the Adidas Terex Swift R3. It's not quite this bad. This is my bed, and this is very comfortable. I have hiked in shoes that feel like you're sleeping in your own bed. The Adidas Terex Swift R3 are not quite like that, but they're not horrible. It's not like sleeping on a park bench. It's not like sleeping in your bed. It's a little bit like sleeping on this mattress on your floor. I mean, yeah, if you had to do it, you could do it. It's not the most comfortable sleeping solution, but uh, you're gonna be able to get through the hike without terrible discomfort. It's already getting hot. All right, so comfort is not uh, its strength. It's also not its weakness. Uh, it's a decent shoe for, for comfort, but how does it do for stability? Well, we're gonna check that out right now. In all the hiking and testing that I have done in the Adidas Terex Swift R3, they are very stable. It has this Pro Moderator uh, midsole. You can see it right here. It's a nice heel cup. It's gonna give you a lot of stability on trail. So when you're off camber and you're hiking in unusual situations where your feet are constantly trying to find their balance, these shoes are gonna perform very, very well. Whoa, just like Superman, these shoes just power through unusual hiking situations, climbing over rocks. Their sole is so rigid that it just gives you purchase instantly on whatever that, whatever, wherever you're putting your feet. So you can see here, I can just go right up this. There's no slippage in the heel, no problems with stability. So stability is not its weakness. So, so far, so far we've covered comfort and stability. And I would say comfort is average, stability is superior with the Pro Moderator. And that's my experience, not only testing these shoes, but hiking in them. I've tested these shoes against four. They're really, really good shoes, two years in a row. And there is one area where they really, really stand out. And that is traction. They have deep lugs. They have a super rigid continental rubber sole. And these shoes just tear through dirt, debris, anything like that. They get amazing traction. No hill is too steep no dirt is too loose these things these shoes have amazing traction you see just like superman these shoes are so powerful they have one weakness they have one thing that is their kryptonite superman is a story killer because there's nothing you can really do against him the only thing that lex luther can come up with is to put him in some impossible situation where he has to be in two places at once and even then he goes like supersonic and he can go to both places simultaneously but all lex luther has to do is get kryptonite and superman is just like anybody else. And that's what we're going to find out right now with this shoe. What is its kryptonite? See, I believe that this shoe has a weakness. I believe that it has something that is its kryptonite. And that is that, yes, it is decently comfortable. It has really, really good superior stability and it has amazing traction and it has good protection, but the traction is the key. The traction is derived from the fact that it has those deep lugs that are so durable and so rigid. They're made of steel, that continental outsole. But the problem is it renders the shoe slippery on smooth surfaces. And yeah, you may not be hiking on um, you know, terracotta tiles, but trust me, I have hiked in these shoes and they are slippery, especially when it's a little bit wet. I, again, I tested these shoes two years in a row. The first year I tested them, I tested them specifically for grip and they were the worst of all of the shoes that I tested. I know you guys love these shoes. You think that they're bulletproof, but I'm gonna prove right now, hopefully, I don't even know if this is gonna work, that these shoes do have one fundamental flaw, one weakness. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy this shoe, but at least you'll be informed and you'll know that this shoe does have a kryptonite it does have something that renders it a little bit weak in certain situations <sighs> okay so here we go the adidas terex swift r3 let's see if my theory is correct and these shoes are actually slippery which is their kryptonite 
Whoa! You could practically ice skate on these things on smooth rock. So you can see that Solomon's Contagrip is just about as slippery as the uh, Continental Outsole on the Adidas Terex Swift R3. And finally, the shoe that I think, or the, the sole that I think will win is the Mega Grip. In my testing, the Mega Grip always wins. It's called Mega Grip for a reason. No movement. I mean, uh, I could pull myself, but I really have to pull. Oh. So there it is, Mega Grip for the win. Okay, so what did we learn in this video? Now we know that the Continental outsole and uh, its version here on the Adidas Terex Swift R3 is in fact slippery. This is its kryptonite. Now, does that mean, again, that you should not buy this shoe? Of course not. In fact, if you want to support me, there is a link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything and you can support my channel and my ongoing efforts to find the best hiking shoe on the planet. So in my comments, I hope this debate is settled. These shoes, yes, they're amazing. I know you that love these shoes love to say that they're flawless, but in fact, these shoes are made of steel. They are the Superman of hiking shoe, but they do have one fundamental weakness they do have a kryptonite, and that is the fact that they are slippery. If you're not sure about the Adidas Terex Swift R3, check out this video where I review this shoe in depth and go into all of its features, and then you can make a more informed decision about whether you should get this shoe or not. It is a great shoe.